Russia may close the borders for men who are subject to mobilization from September the 28th, immediately after the end of sham referendums on the temporarily occupied territories. The Russian opposition publication Medusa wrote about this. As a result, men will only be able to leave the country if they get the so-called exit visas from the recruitment office. For now, the Russians are trying to run away from the country, while the borders are not officially closed. They're standing there for days. Some of them are being returned back by the Russian border guards, now with the summons. Restrictive exit measures have been imposed in 10 regions, as well as in the Republic of North Ossetia Alanya, Dagestan, Tatarstan, and the Republic of Saha Yakutia. More and more people come out to protest in Dagestan. People understand that it is they, but not residents of Moscow or St. Petersburg, who will go to Ukraine to die first. Russian propagandist announced Putin's address to the Federal Assembly on September the 13th, that is, when he will be able to sign the so-called agreement on the illegal joining of the temporarily occupied Ukrainian territories by the Russian army to Russia. According to Medusa, the Kremlin is also considering the imposition of martial law. The source of the publication calls this measure not desirable but possible. The leaks from the Russian media are growing. The Ukrainian authorities suggest that they may will be organized to intimidate the Ukrainian population. First, they make a claim of 300,000 mobilized. Then, according to a leak of information, it becomes known that there will be 1 million. Why are they doing this? To scare us or what? We have already been scared after February 24th. I don't know what should happen so that they can somehow frighten us, or our army, or our society. The Russian authorities can say tomorrow that they will mobilize 10 million citizens of Russia. There is a clear understanding. The resources of those who wanted to go to war against our country have already been fully exhausted. Alexei Danilov, Secretary of the National Security and Defense Council of Ukraine, in an interview with New Times. Decree on mobilization with a secret clause, 10 years in prison for desertion, an exit ban and the possible imposition of martial law. All this is the Kremlin's agony. And there is only one reason for mobilization. Putin's desire to keep his regime by any means, according to the general staff of the armed forces of Ukraine. The successful counteroffensive of the Ukrainian army caused discontent among a part of the population of Russia. The decision to mobilize was the answer to such a request. Having embarked on this path, Putin must come to some conclusion that he can live with. This dynamic helps to consolidate support for the war. However, the flip side of this is that the consensus is rather about Russians' relationship with each other, other than people's relationship with Putin. It becomes very difficult for Putin to integrate in these social circles and bring the consensus back to his side. Sam Green, professor at the British King's College, in an interview with The New Yorker. The governors of the Vladimir and Magadan regions and the head of Yakutia have already started to speak out against the chaotic mobilization, when those who are not even close to being drafted are being taken away. Since the number of the mobilized is set by the Ministry of Defense of Russia, and the governors are directly responsible for the recruitment, the American Institute for the Study of War believes that the real state of affairs in the draft board will not correspond to Putin's guidelines. Reported by Diana Kolesnik, Yulia Bozborodko, UATV News.